Hello everyone, Heidi. So this morning I was dropping Natalie off at school and it was just the weirdest thing because uh, as I was driving away, I saw nothing but dads walking their children to school. Like no, no moms. It was all dads, you know, and just smiles on their face, holding their kids' hands, walking them up to class. And it was just a weird vision for me because as many of you might have been following my story, my journey in the Unsung Goddess, I have never really had my dad in my life. I have not had that father figure presence where he shows up like that in my life. And so unbeknownst to me until I turned actually 40, I really thought that, you know, I didn't need a dad. You know, I'm this strong, courageous, brave um, woman who had just an amazing mother who played both roles for me. And that was enough. I was taught that that was for, by her, that, you know, that's all we need. We have each other. And, um, you know, about 40, I had this major breakdown realizing that uh, it was okay for me to grieve the fact that I did not have my dad in my life and that were, there were a lot of things that I would have loved him to be there for me in like walking me to school and showing up to my plays and um, just experiencing my life. I didn't really have him in that way. So seeing all these fathers showing up um, in this moment, it was like I was in a movie or something. It was, and just for a moment, that inner child in me says, what kind of father does not want to participate in their children's lives? And I chose a husband who chose to not participate in his kids' lives. You know, my, my two daughters are going through the same things that I went through. And I see that pattern. I see that I have like called that into you know, in, into my consciousness. Um, I married someone who's very much like my dad. My dad is extremely creative. Oh my gosh. He's just got a beautiful mind. He, um, is so connected to nature in so many ways, but he's also a very insecure man. Um, and just cannot handle, um, a lot of his own emotional stuff. So, that's who my husband was, unfortunately, um, or fortunately, actually, because I know that I've chosen all this. My kids really, you know, they chose us to be their parents. And so um, I shouldn't say unfortunately, because it's actually a very fortunate situation that I'm understanding what it is that my soul has come here to learn. So just seeing, you know, my inner child says, what kind of father does, does that? Who doesn't show up in their kids' lives? And then you know, my higher self said, well, you know exactly the answer to that. You know, you of all people know exactly the answer to that. It has absolutely nothing to do with them not wanting to show up in your life. It's not about your dad not wanting to show up in your life or not loving you or caring about you or wanting to be there for you. It is everything to do with him and his own inability to express love to uh, be present and be fully present as a man and, um, you know, just connect in that way. And it's his journey that he has to learn that it's, um, it's the father of my children's journey. That's his thing that he has to realize what it is that he ha is making conscious de decisions and how there's a disconnect within himself. And, you know, maybe in some way, I will be that connection for my, for my dad and my kids will be that connection for their father to be able to reconnect emotionally to, um, who they are, whatever it is that's broken inside of them. Um, and when, when, when I released the attachment that there was, that I somehow played a role in him not being a part of my life, um, things got better. And I began to understand that on a different level. And I'm able to actually help my kids to understand that on a different level. And I'm hoping that they'll make different choices as far as the emotional availability of the men that they 
co-create and, and choose um, and connect with in their life. Um, I know that I have had so much healing around my father and I have so much healing around the husband that I chose. I am grateful for both of them um, giving me the experiences of my life. I understand the pain um, and the sadness that has come through both of those relationship experiences. And I am totally and completely ready uh, because uh, to bring in and draw in a very healthy divine masculine, you know, man relationship to meet my, my divine feminine self, because I have healed and brought awareness and attention, understanding and forgiveness into my own personal experiences. And so now I can take that next step to have these other beautiful experiences and, and I can have, um, my children, you know, be assured that they're not going to make those same mistakes. And so love and forgiveness and allowing myself to feel, um, to feel the emotions that I wanted to feel and know that those emotions were totally and completely valid, but it did not define my self-worth and my worthiness of love and you know, my ability to choose a very um, emotionally available man, because that's unfortunately what my lessons have been choosing emotionally unavailable men. <laughs> so um, to all of the fathers out there, including my own and including the one who uh, I had married and helped me birth in these two beautiful, beautiful children of mine that I know is just not happy inside for his choices and, you know, whatever, that's their paths. But um, I just want to really acknowledge all the beautiful men out there that uh, have chosen differently, that I am watching, seeing, appreciating, and knowing that there is love in all things whether they be good or bad at the time there is love in all things and i i have so many beautiful fathers that are showing me um, a completely different experience than what i was used to seeing growing up so thank you to all of those beautiful men who are you know making a conscious decision to to love and to be present as a man, as a father, as a husband, um, on so many levels, you inspire me and you deserve to be honored. Just as we are honoring all of these beautiful women at this time, you deserve to be honored. And when I saw all of the fathers walking their children to school today, where I would normally get sort of like sad and angry and like, why can I ever have that? You know, I just really had this beautiful appreciation um, for all that is. And I'm not any more like victimized by the fact that I didn't have that um, because I understand that I had a different experience um, to teach me different things that I am now applying in my life. And I'm able to share it with my children and I will have different patterns now as uh, my lineage carries on in a different way, including my future and what's coming. I feel him. He's on his way and it is going to be a completely different kind of experience than, um, than we've had and we've seen in our family. And my sister's experiencing it. She's got an amazing, beautiful man in her life and he's just loving on her kids and yeah, I'm, I'm totally ready for that. So just really being so humbled and so, so much gratitude and love for all of the divine masculine energy that is uh, surrounding me today. Namaste.